Welcome to GDC 2019. Yeah. Cool. It's GDC 2019, first day of the expo hall. It's open. Tons of people here excited, tons of media set up, filming, everyone just about to pounce on all the new games, hardware, technology. It is packed with people and has been since 10 a.m. And everyone here is probably getting hammered. So Unity has a really cool booth this year. You can see they have these customized shirt options. You can choose any of the first four and then any of the bottom four. And that's like the front and back of the shirt. So I'm getting a customized shirt right now. What do you see? What do you think? It's really pretty. Is it really fun? She's in, she's in her own zone. She doesn't even care much. Plus a year of our content. So I'm now in the indie game section. Indie games always have the most inventive, unique sort of stories and way of telling the stories. You also see some of the most cool interactive experiences at all of GDC. Just like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. We're tied together. Is there's also a whole bunch of GDC demos and things outdoor right across from the conference at Yerba Buena Garden. You can see there's a waterfall behind me. This park is usually not this packed. So you can see there's tons of games and different things. We're here at the Pokemon Power Bank. If you need mobile power during GDC, this is the spot to go. Came across this weird ominous crown like thing here. And you have to sit down. found out that this is called Ingus. It's by Morantic, the AR company that makes Pokemon Go. So I'm here at Google Stadia area booth. You can see the Stadia logo here. So you can see here is the Google Stadia controller. It's all white. There's also an all black design over there. It looks just like a PlayStation 4 controller, except maybe a little bit more matte. And there's other buttons on there, probably for like live streaming to YouTube and stuff. So, I'm here at the Afro Developers After Party for GDC. I'm here with Brittany, Julia, Jamie Burke. And we're talking about 
talking about esports and what what constitutes an esport. Is it something that needs to be physical? Is it mental sport? It's an interesting conversation. All right, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I earned your subscription today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button. Thanks again, have a great day. And thank you, Pac-Man.